Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron with the Detail Coat. Do you have a dirty car? Well, reach out to us. We have a few mobile trucks where we can come to you, and we do have a shop as well. So book your appointment at thedetailco.com. Use the code Belucico23 and receive 10% off. See y'all later. American Mexican, not <laughs> Mexican American. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Loser Lou. It's uh, you know, September twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. It's like what, ten p.m.? Yes, sir. No, it's like ten thirty. We've been bullshitting for ten thirty, you know, for thirty minutes. Just trying to get you know get set up. It's what like eighty four degrees, eighty five degrees outside. It feels amazing. Yeah. There we go. My hear- there we go. I couldn't hear myself for a little bit. I feel a little bit better now. <clears throat> so I have some homies here tonight. For, for first time callers, yes, long time listeners. Hey, <laughs> what up, hi fiends? How's what your up, day, bro? bro? My day has been nerve wracking because I I'm scared to be on this podcast, bro. But nah, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna get through this shit. You know what I'm saying? If they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold if of you? They want to get a hold of me. They can find me where the fiends are at. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm just fucking. With you. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. Just holler at me on Instagram. It's the same on Twitter. It's going to be at High Fiends, H-I-I-F-I-E-N-D-S-S. Um, pushing art and pushing the clothing brand. Y'all come check it out. Right next to High Fiends, we got Killer Chris. What's up, bro? What up, bro? What up, Lou? See you. Chilling, what man. Up? How you been, man? Good, bro. Chilling, chilling, bro. I love how I always chillin'. randomly bump into you. Bro, it's... <laughs> It's good. It's great. <laughs> Since the first time I met you, I uh, we went to that Lone Star show, bro. I told my girl, I was all like, I know who this is. If I can see this person's face, that's him. I I, bro, the minute I said that, you're walking in. I'm all like, what the fuck? That's Lou right there. And I introduced you. And I even, for, bro, the funniest thing is, I started talking to you, forgot to introduce my girl and shit, bro. I was just like, yeah, this is Lou, Lou, this, this, Lou. I met him this, bro. Forgot and shit to tell you this is my girl and stuff. Cause <laughs> I was all like, bro, it's been a minute, bro. It's been a minute, but nah, bro, it's good to be here, bro. Appreciate you having us, man. Hell yeah, man. Uh, I, I was I was hyped when I found out that, you know, y- y'all were y'all were a part of this. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. My, we My dog. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm more of like in the man not manager wise bro but just if you want to book him if you want to get any information right on man. when he's free whenever he wants you know want him as a vendor want him on your shows or just to represent like put up R and shit that's cool that's y'all can cooked. always just hit me up how do they get a hold of you uh, shit on my Instagram bro uh, killer underscore Chris zero seven just just like that bro. how do you spell killer 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 uh, killer K I L L A underscore C H R I S zero seven no worry he's there not a go. killer bro <laughs> yeah 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 bro all right That's... hey they killed killer me bro. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'm not like that, bro. Dog, that's just the name I've had for a while, and that's what. Hey, hey you, you, you were talking. You were talking about that before this. Uh, uh, I paid, bro. Yes, <laughs> man. Uh, what up, my, my homie Xavier's right here. If they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Hey y'all. Hey, hit me up on uh, Gorilla Slug Productions. Spell it out. That is G O R I L L A, Gorilla Slug S L U G. Productions, P R O D U C, Dictions. I actually don't know. How to, I actually don't remember how to spell productions. This dude straight put it on the spot, spelling bee real quick. Like, I'm like, oh, oh, I yeah, bro. Go <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I don't. It's not my intentions. Well, anyways, we're here tonight. Yes, sir. The weather's amazing. Yep. We have all these joints to light up. Like, yep. anybody got a lighter? Can somebody light light light? I I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. So where where are you from? Where I'm from? Yeah, where are you from, Yo, bro? Y'all already know. Nah, that's my favorite thing that people say is like y'all already know, but y'all don't know me. But <laughs> I'm from the west side of San Antonio, bro. Oh, yeah. Just like just like most of us, you y'all can relate. To, yes, sir. To the art, to the grind, to the push. Y'all know how it goes in the hood. And I grew up off of like Zasamora and like. Breeze, popular area, seven eight two seven shit. I wasn't a bad person, like a bad kid in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I just we're all in the hood and we just do the shit. You know? Yeah. I hear that. Just make it happen. Yes, sir. What else you been up to, man? 
So <laughs> I just got done with the last art show. Like, hey, you've been grinding it out with those. <coughs> Bro, Hell yeah, made yeah. two of them happen, and it's like all out of pocket, all out of love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to bring these people together, <coughs> give artists that like that like don't want to go to like Southtown area. Not that it's bad or anything, but like, no, it's it's hard to get in there sometimes. It's, yeah. it's either really hard to get into, or like, you gotta I don't know. know, or like it's too hot. Because some of those, some of you know, the whole upstairs and fucking Blue Star, there's no air conditioning. Mm-mm. Oh, that and like. Yeah, that one was gas. Uh, yeah, there was some cool shit in there. I mean, I think, um, um, man, the homies gallery has air conditioning in it. Actually, you know what? I remember uh, JoJo Dancer's gallery had AC, and uh, fuck the other homies at the end. I smoked too much. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough, bro. Not no enough. Such thing. Not enough, bro. <laughs> What you been shooting? Uh, boxing, bro. Been yeah. shooting a lot of boxing. Just, what, was, uh, what was the last event you shot? Last fight I shot was at uh, actually at Corpus Christi for top rank. Oh, uh, sick. Yeah, bro. Damn, that's tight. Yes, dude, it was sick. Uh, hey, move, move the mic a little bit towards you. Yeah, don't be afraid to speak into the mic. Damn. Oh, oh my God, God. you're a yeah, fool for that, <laughs> dude. You're a fool for that. That's funny as fuck. <laughs> no, but yeah, bro. Uh, they they hit me up. They I sent out an email asking if I can show up to the fight like months before, mm-hmm. and I didn't hear anything for like months. And then a few weeks right before the fight, uh, they hit me up and said, "Hey, you're allowed weigh-ins and and uh, media day, but not fight night." I was like, "All right, fair enough. You know, as as long as I could get there." But once I was there, bro, like I. I was hooked, bro. I was like, I need to get my way into fight night, you know. So I just started talking my way all these, all these folks, all these higher ups, and uh, there's this photographer. His name's Mikey, and he like took me under his wing a little, you know. He uh, he hooked it up. He was like, Hey, man, if you ever need anything, just like hit me up. And I was like, Actually, bro, like they told me I I'm not allowed into fight night if you could just wiggle me in or something and he's like bro don't even don't even trip he's like, yeah bro he's like don't even trip like you're you're in bro like don't even worry about it and use your credentials that's tight dude it was it was badass it was an adventure bro because i actually didn't even have the funds to get me down to corpus bro i had to hustle dude like i had i was hitting up these gyms here in san antonio asking if i could y'all need a photo shoot yes bro straight <laughs> up i was like hey you, yeah. can i shoot you guys for like this like discounted price just because i need some gas bro like that's yeah. all i needed I didn't care about food. I didn't care about any living quarters or anything about like that. Grind, I just, that's tight. Yes, sir. So once I was down there, I was like, I can't, I got to make it last. You know, That's fucking dope. So you made it down yeah, there, yeah. apparently. Oh, yeah. And once I was down there, uh, I still didn't, like, have enough money to come back. And Top Ring wasn't going to pay me, you know. Like, it was the invitation that was good enough. Yeah. So I had to just do the same thing that I did here in San Antonio. And I just hit <laughs> up gems there in Corpus. So I was like, hey, guys, like. I just need money to get back to San Antonio, That's you know what tight. I'm saying? Like, straight up, like, uh, I'll do a discounted shoot for you guys, and it got me there and back, you know, and I got the experience, I That's got the connections. That's fucking dope. Yeah, dude, I, I love that, yeah, bro. bro. It, was a, it was a hustle, man, but I got it done, you know, and now I have that under my resume. I'm like, hey, you know what? I shot for top rank. They invited me, and I shot for them, you know? That hey, that's cool. Bro. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate they it. They look at that and they be like, "Hey, tough, this guy knows what's up." Shit too. Yes, sir. Damn. It was a tough week, man. I you like I was at I was I was at the point where I was like, "I'm I'm not gonna make it," you know. Like I I got the invitation, but I just don't have the funds. And the last night, I was like, "I can't I can't not try, bro." Yeah. And I did everything I could, and I made it down there, bro. It was sick. Oh yeah, bro. that's fucking dope. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Appreciate yeah. it. Man. That's tight. Yeah, man. I remember like. Dude, just having your camera in the right place will get you, like, into cool shit sometimes. I remember, like, uh, I went to go see World Star Stage, like, 2014, you know, South by Southwest Austin. I had my equipment, and I bought, like, like, a backstage pass. So then, like, I'm standing backstage. I just put my camera on, and I just walk on the stage. (laughs) (laughs) And I start shooting, like, Bankroll Fresh, Snooty Wild. Wow. Ray, Str- Ray Strumman kicked me off stage. Shy uh, Glizzy kicked me off stage. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, I was up there shooting these fools. You know what I mean? That's South by tight. Southwest is fucking crazy, bro. I've had, like, crazy, crazy good experiences. At South right? Southwest. Yeah. I think the first time I went, me and my boy Raymond, and we're, like, Raymond, other homie, we're, like, 21, bro. We're, like, hey, bro, do you 
you follow this account, ATX something, and they're like, they're tweeting out all the spots that have free beer, bro. So <laughs> we just pulled up everywhere to every event, you know, like tip your bartenders and shit. But like, they had like torchy taco events, like all types of shit where you just get free beer. So we did that, and it was like South by Southwest. Uh, like I know my homies have met a bunch of people, but one time I got pushed into a. I got pushed into a show with uh, ASAP Crew. What? That's time. sick. It was a. Uh, it was like. It was like <laughs> somebody smaller, like Barry, probably. Or, uh, not Barry. He don't rap. But, so I'm fucking one of these fucking small dudes, YG Addy or some shit. Like that's his ad name. And it was me and Raymond, and we're like, we're like, is that Ian Connor, bro? Like, what the fuck? And then they just started like security just started pushing people, and we're just like. We just, I, we just got pushed in, and my homie's like, he's always like, it's every man for himself, bro. Like, whatever happens, happens type <laughs> shit. Like, I'm like, oh, hi, right, bro. But uh, he looks back. I'm like, bro, I'm right behind you, bro. Like, they're pushing us in, bro. Like, <laughs> we just pulled up to the event, and we're just like, they just went to, they just went to check it out, bro. They're just like, where he's going to perform. They walked out. We're just like, what up, bro? And they shook up. Like, we shook up one of them, and they just dipped out. But it was like, South by Southwest, anything can happen. Like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I met the baby out there. He had was oh, wearing man. a diaper. No way. Is that like around 2016, right? Yeah. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. He was just straight up in a diaper, just like, oh, wait, hold up. just like, know. here, look, someone light this one up, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, he was just chilling in a fucking diaper, like. You got a good picture of that? Like, no, man, nah. <laughs> no, there's pictures on the internet about it. Yeah, there's pictures on the internet about it. That's the, the when he oh, was, but you want a Lou picture, <laughs> though. Oh, you see yeah. that food? That food was throwing, like, uh. Like he was throwing packs in the crowd, but it was like grass. <laughs> hey, before his come up, that. bro. That was before his oh, yeah. come up. He that's fun. That's funny though, man. The baby, you know what I'm saying? Hey, now he probably do throw packs. <laughs> Yo, I always thought it was wild that like Fetty Wap got caught up. You know what I mean? Like y'all heard about that story? Yes, no, bro. What to Fetty Wap? He got caught up like trapping. Like, yeah, actually trapping, bro. No you would have thought all that that's money was, like multi like fucking gold millionaire shit. Probably. Yeah, man, he got caught up trapping. Yo, but honestly, I seen a lot of, or like, before that actually happened, I saw interviews of where he was talking about, like, he started noticing that, like, his uh, direct deposits <laughs> were going from, like, like, six digits to, like, five to four. And then that's when he was all like, yo, like, something's fucking going on. Like, what's going <laughs> on? And, bro, like, his shit just wasn't popping. And... Now, six, six years in federal prison. God damn, damn. he got caught up with, with cocaine, isn't it? This was this was published May twenty twenty three. I don't know how to about to get lost in Georgia. It don't yeah, matter. Let's just figure. Just you know what I mean. I was like, I was like, we can just have face. <laughs> you have to get a person going on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You're probably right. You should probably do something like that. But yeah, man, straight up six years in prison. That's crazy. Running drugs, bro. right? That shit's nuts. It's so crazy, especially since how long has it been? Twenty fifteen, since Trap Queen. I don't know when. When did Trap Queen come out? I don't even know, bro. But all I know is that when Trap Queen came out, every other song that he dropped, radio, radio, radio. Bro, I need that Fetty Wap feature right now, bro. Get he had, bro, he had, a bro he had a Christmas album, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck he did? I'm pretty sure, bro. You know who's in the bag? Always. Snoop. But I mean, Christmas music's always dope to have because, like, you know what I mean? You want to hear some, like, banger Christmas music? I'm, I'm over it. Like, you want to <laughs> hear your, you want to hear your regular Christmas music just in the thug version? Like, I'm over Christmas music, bro. Straight up. What? I'm done, though. I love Christmas music, nah. bro. You're tripping, no, bro. Sir. Got caught trafficking what 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, cocaine, heroin, fentanyl, mm -hmm. crack cocaine across Long Island. Oh my Jeez. god, bro! He's doing years, bro. Yeah, no, he just passed me this uh, one. The friend ski, bro. Yeah, yeah. make a fucking fool of him. Nah, bro, he's the he's government got, got, minute, him bro. got him on the show. Bro. Yeah, man, got caught up. That's wild. Weird question, but like, what? What about the whole? Did y'all hear about the whole Tory Lanes and like Meg the Stallion shit? Wow, well, well, yeah, yeah, I know. Like, what, he's in prison right now, right? Bro, ten years, what and they never. 
I don't even know if there's actual like actual footage or they even got like actual <laughs> fucking evidence. But canceled, apparently this like he didn't shot her on the foot. And that's what happened. Shot her on the foot. And because of that, that's how I started building the case. Oh, and I was all like, what is this? <laughs> no, bro. Hey, it happened, bro. But like 10 years of some shit that like, I don't even know if there's actual evidence. It might be, bro. I don't fucking know. I just be reading shit. <laughs> I just be reading shit. I just shit. be reading shit. Reading Y'all didn't see this fucking guy. I know, I, know, I know he was in the hood one time passing out water. Bro. Like right here, right here at... Uh, where Remedial used to be. You know I'm what I'm talking about? Up. Is that when he came over to do a concert with someone or was that he headlining? I, I have no idea. All I know is he ended up in like down the street. I'm here Culebra like passing out waters. Funniest thing, bro. We saw me and him uh, saw him when we saw uh, Mac Miller. When Mac oh. Miller came to San Antonio. Bruh. Bro, he Tory Lanez was one of his um, headliners. Or one of his openers or whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know, bro. This who's putting it on hard for Tory no, Lanez right no, now. No, no, no. What? I'm just talking about, like, him. I don't, like, I don't even know, bro. He was here. <laughs> the only time yeah. I seen this food. Yeah, they go, fuck it. So you saw him live? Yeah, we saw him live. Did he put on a good set? Bro, I thought it was lit because he went from the stage. He got, like, he was a stage dive. He stage dove. Uh-huh. Got carried all the way from the stage to the bar and bought the whole bottle of Hennessy and just... Drank it up there and then gave it the rest to everybody else. Oh, wow. So it was pretty lit, bro. To be at, and it got I don't even know what songs he played, but <laughs> I just remember that because at that time, bro, it was where like you know where it gets hot at a fucking concert, so you need to step away from the front. Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yeah. I was back there getting air, free water, and all I see is this dude fucking getting carried, bro, to the bar. <laughs> I was tripping, bro. I was like, what the fuck is that, Tory Lanez? Dude bought the bottle of Hennessy. Bro. And just gave it away to everybody hey, that sounds, else. That sounds like a good time, though. It was, but all I remember was Mac Miller, bro. Cause really? That was, bro, hell yeah. Anybody want this? I remember I saw, one time I saw DMX chug a bottle of Henny. And then I think he poured it all out. Now we're getting into it. It was a big lot. That's better. That's better I'm talking about. It was a big lot. The only thing that, like, there was like 20 local openers, though. Oh shit! You know what I mean? It's the worst. But like lot. it was, it was at the old big lot, big lots off Evers and Four Ten. That shit was, it was pretty live. It was really, really random. Uh, like, that does sound random. Was, but DMX, that's fire. That you got to see him though. Yeah, I would have been on. Like I, I saw, I saw him twice. Yes. I saw him at like uh, 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 Summer Jam. <laughs> that's tight. That was long. I was like ten years old, <laughs> twelve years oh, old, shit. shit like that. That shit was fun. What was the one? Do you remember any song he fucking played? Uh, it was all the first album I remember that. No, I wasn't. I wasn't that young. Now that I think about, it. that's when I saw Jay Z. Because Dmx did, Dmx didn't come out till I was a uh, 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 freshman year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, that's concerts are where it's at, bro. Oh man, I, I used to go. I used to go to a bunch of concerts when so I was younger. Yeah, like, yeah. Seen so many. Like I remember, like the first start of it was getting out of high school and skipping, and I was like, oh shit, I'm skipping. Like, but I was, <laughs> oh, it's all it's all senior year, bro. Nah, shit, bro. bro. <laughs> hey, wait like, senior there was no yeah. reason to fucking skip because I played sports and shit. But like, bro, I remember like coach. I'm sorry. Senior year, nah. Uh, senior year, the coach would be like, <laughs> after football season and everything, they'd just be like, "Coach, I need to skip. Just let me know." Blah blah blah. Get out of here. I was like, man, fuck that. Like, I dipped anyways. I saw this from <laughs> the back. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna be in class today. He's like, alright. <laughs> Boom, slide out the homies who had a car, and we'll go fucking wait in line in front of the White Rabbit, bro. <laughs> and I've met, like, so many. I've met, like, underachievers right there, like, Flatbush Zombies right there. I saw Kendrick. Uh, I saw Kendrick. Yeah, you did. The first time he performed. Uh, at White Rabbit? Yeah. Hey, I was there. That's uh, sick. The, he came Why? two times. Never the second, the second time when he was on the Good Kid, Mad City tour, I think, or something. Yeah, he smaller. he dropped Good Kid, Mad City that day. And he, yeah, and then he said he performed. He had never performed. Uh, I think it was Money Trees. Uh-huh. First time hearing Money. Trees. No way. That's tight. I got. I got. I think I have a picture of him in my living room, man. That's badass. I took it with like one of my old phones. Hey, was Schoolboy Q his uh, hype man still back then? Or was Scuba Q, Scuba Q? All I know is that... I think he was Scuba Q. He was already... The foods were coming, like, every other week. It was, like, Absol and then Flatbush Zombies. But that's when the albums were dropping, right? I saw uh, Tyler the Creator out there at the White Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, everybody... The White Rabbit was fire. Yeah. They used to let us... They would be like, you can smoke. Like, 
outside the front in the line. Yep. We fucking smoked with Isaiah Rashad one time. Sick. He was, dude, this fool was up and coming at the time, too. And he was just like. That was, is that at the Scuba Q concert? Yeah, dude. But the craziest part is we had like, uh, like, this fool was trying to buy Bud. And he was like, he had to hit up his mom, like, because his mom was the manager money or whatever. So, <laughs> so like, she sent him the money and shit. But then this fool was trying to sell to him. He had all, like, a big ass Bud, a uh, jar of Bud. And we're just like, bro, just hook that, hook that fool up. Like, he, just yeah. wants, he just wants two G's, bro. Like, and then like and this fool's like trying to skip him, bro. And we're like, what the fuck, bro? Just give him bud, bro. Like the arc, the arc of the finesse, and right? He's cool, give like him, he's cool. Bro. Like he came Pause. out, he he took pictures of everybody, he chopped it up, and he's like, I'm a rest. And like during that time, we, there was this homie, he fucking fainted, bro. Like he just well, high he fainted. We're like, what <laughs> the fuck, bro? Like, walked that fool to the front, and he's like, all right, like I'm out, bro. Like we're not gonna deal with that type of shit. <laughs> Lone Star Market, October 20th. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm excited for that, bro. I love being invited. Bro. Yeah. I love I love how you posted that today with that Eminem song. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I was just all hell yeah. You got to hit the you got to hit him you got to hit him with all aspect all aspects on Instagram like it's truly a fucking hustle to fucking be like a creator. Like I'm not I don't consider myself a creator, but you have to be like you just have to you have to fucking edit the video, put a good song, throw Nice picture. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Everything, yeah. And like, bro, like, music helps it now that you can put it on every post, bro. I'll be hitting them it's with lit. every fucking song I got. Like, yeah. bro, and I got, like, we, you know, we got 20 years of music, bro. Like, but that one hit right, you know what I'm saying? Like, let, and even, let them know, because that one's gas, bro. Because every time at Lone Star Market, <laughs> I make money, no cap. Yeah. And then... Anywhere. Like, there's, there's a shitload of vendors, good food. Like, it's not even a hype, like, and, uh, you know, you can... Advertise it, dude. It's it's crazy because this is the first time we're doing it. Not a first Friday. I think we're doing it on a second Saturday. Well, okay, that's on a Saturday. The last, yeah. two, the last two events I did were both on the weekend, on a Saturday, in the middle of the, <coughs> in the middle of the week, in the middle of the month, because most people work like nine to five, or you know, during the week, or Monday through Friday, or they got good ass jobs, whatever. You know what I'm saying? No discrimination to anybody. Actually, you're, you're you're in the series of what I'm showing in at that one. I'm showing those bridge pictures. Oh hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's tight. That's tight. Where you can, um, that one where you're doing that thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, what what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> gonna get the, they're gonna turn on the interview. Here's this who talk about just the a yo right. Some shit in there. Nah, but hey, the first time I ever went to the Lone Star uh, Market, bro, uh, it was the best. It was a badass show, bro. I just hate, no lie, that they uh, they chopped that chopped shit. it in half. Oh, dude, yeah, tell me about bro. it, bro. Dude, but the thing is, no, they let me know from the start they were gonna do yeah. that. Yeah, y'all can do, but you can still capitalize, like especially if it's yeah, yeah, we're, we're we're gonna we're gonna switch it up a lot. Remember these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was talking about, but what did you say? I'm in the series of like. He's dropping a little like. I'm dropping these pictures there. Yes, well, you're gonna be in them. I'm gonna show a couple of your pictures. Just know that it's gonna be blurred out. No, I was like, <laughs> these are, I was like, it's on both of our Instagrams. No, I, yeah, I just got like the whole. I got like maybe. Oh, you got that shit delivered. No, I haven't done it yet. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop nothing but pictures of that I've taken at that bridge. That's it, bro. You love that, you love that bridge, bro. Nah, bro. I remember. It's this, just cool. It's different, dude, bro. It's funny because, like, this who is like. Bro, I love that. I how was much like, where's the bridge at? Like, where's the bridge at? He's like, I can't tell you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, bro. I, I physically I like, couldn't tell you. <laughs> me, I was like, I'm, me, I'm all like, nah. I was like, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I know where it's at, bro. Like, I live in the hood, too. And then me, I took like, it. Yeah, have you ever been there? And I was like, oh, shit. I know where it's at, bro. Hey, Lou, I heard you take everybody with the blindfold before you <laughs> even. <laughs> I just, I just get it, just get it. No, I'll always tell people to like meet me at the church that's like around the corner because that's the only like landmark. You know what I mean? Because it's literally just like a bridge in the middle of the neighborhood. Like. Yeah, bring a blindfold. Don't. Uh, I'll let ten steps to your left. Take three rights. I'm right there. And jump. Ah, he said jump. jump. He said three right. Three, three. He said three, three, three. Yeah, you're just gonna go in the fucking square, circle or a square. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to drop those pictures. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. You be, you've been killing it. Like, straight up, I love it. I see you I see you posting, and I just look, and this dude 
side of the highway. <laughs> you just see cars <laughs> passing you, like, movies all getting Damn. this shit in, and, like, that's how it is. Like, you just go get the shot, because, like, what are they going to do? Like, they're going to be like, oh, you need to get out of here. Like, are they going to stop highway? They're going to stop highway traffic, like. It's, da- it's dangerous, you know what I mean. Oh, man, like, sometimes sometimes there'll be bums like just chilling in there too. Uh, yeah, like bro. like I, last time I was sitting there taking pictures of some graffiti, and I look, and this dude's just staring at me like, <laughs> not he's not happy that I'm there. He, he probably just wanted a picture. I had no nah, man. I never want to take pictures of those fools because I don't want to disturb them. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, you're always trying to guide around them. I had yeah, I was trying to work around these fools. Like I remember one time, like it was either step over this guy who was asleep, or like literally jump the little barrier and walk like on the fucking side of the highway. <laughs> like step on his head, or <laughs> like, so I like I'm walking on the side of the fucking highway. You know what I mean? Like a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, man, it's 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 fun, bro. You ever hit those fucking puddles? <laughs> you just oh, you think it's solid and it's just some water? No, like, just falling. You're like fuck my sock, bro. <laughs> no joke one time uh, i was in the lone star building and uh, i was walking and the sun had gone down it was so it was dark as fuck and uh uh i stepped in a fucking hole Hello. <laughs> and like no, lone just, star it just peered up. no it, lone it star like appear? brewery oh, oh the shit. abandoned brewery yeah i've been taking pictures there for no, 20, 2015 some shit like that somewhere around there. i want to go in there it's pretty, dope. it's pretty live i mean they tore a lot of it down it yeah. still has a good show. Like. Yeah, there's still there's still a decent amount of I want to check that shit out. I it's fun. Really I like it. There's no security right now. <laughs> Again, there's no security right now. Right now, allow him now. Y'all know what's going down after. Once y'all see this interview. Next no, morning. man. I, 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 well, uh, so, like, I'm walking, right? And then, like, I step, and, like, you know, I thought there was going to be, like, concrete. Well, there was nothing in it. Like, for, like, a second, I thought I was, like. Gone. Oh, my God. And then, like, my other knee hits the floor. And I'm like, fuck yeah, like it didn't even hurt. I was more satisfied that I'm not falling anymore. Yeah, and it was just like a split second, but it seemed like forever. I swear I hated that shit. That fucked up. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I won't go at night. <laughs> <laughs> He's all like that. There, 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 I think there's people that live there. Like I know I'm pretty like pretty sure, bro. That like I've seen them like upset that I was like there one time. They were trying remember, to probably trying to fuck and oh, the fuck? <laughs> Bro, one one time I saw this hands. dude like flying a drone there, like he had like the goggles. <laughs> he was flying this VR drone. <laughs> no, this guy was like looking for copper. Another dude was looking for copper. The drone's just going know. right by him. I was like, oh, yeah, like the guy was just all. <laughs> we thought he was like twenty. He's like, what year is it, bro? <laughs> That's hilarious. The robots. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's tight, but hey, Lou, how long have you been like, uh, like taking pictures of just culture, like it's just graffiti? Well, what what did you start taking pictures of first? Like, what fucking intrigued you? Like, intrigued you into like fucking just taking photos? Like, what fucking caught your attention, bro? Like, I, w- I was on the newspaper when I was in high school, so you know what I mean. Like writing or like yeah, you- writing, and I would take pictures. Bad, well, bad, like bad, 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 bad. I started getting on the street team shit. And I like a uh, Roadrunner Records would send me like tapes, like Slipknot tapes at the time, and you got to pass them out and shit like yeah. that. You put up like little structures at like Sam Goody or Hogwild, and they put the CDs in there, like displays and shit. And in return for doing that work, like when the bands come, you get a party with them, and you get into the show for free. That's right. So like, it is that kind of like got me into photography. You know what I mean? Like, cause I like it was cool like documenting these people. Because, I mean, I was a 16-year-old kid. You partying with Slipknot. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Did you ever interview with them? Back, no, I was I was too young. I did not even, like... I was going to say, you, like, this nah. fool, like... That's how you... <laughs> yeah, see, dude. There's, like, the interview where Nardwire interviews him, and it's just, like, weird as fuck. Like, and this fool, he's like, did I piss off number? Like, they just go by numbers or some shit. And he's like, he's mad, like... <laughs> hey, they were what? cool, man. Um, I remember That's the tight. bassist, Paul. Like, I met him twice. <laughs> One time they played at the Hano, Texas, on Culebra Road. Fire. The other time they played Ozfest, um, so like when I went to the one on, on uh, Tahano, Texas, I was going to Prince of <laughs> Peace at the time, and uh, <laughs> oh, I had to go to my catechism class. Yeah. Homie was all, "You want a beer?" I was like, "I gotta go to church real quick. I'll come back afterwards." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he was cracking up, and I came back and he like you know threw me a beer, like it was cool as fuck. I had a good time doing that shit. That's tight. So that's what got you started into doing that. Got all me this? started into like taking pictures, pictures? like to document. Shit, you know what I mean? That shit's so bad, bro. 
It is, especially just, being your first, like, like kind of your first time the, now. The way it's gone from film, like, I remember my family used to have buckets of fucking boxes of VHS big, pictures and all that shit. You know, bro, like, I got a back room back there that's filled with pictures, bro. It's like, crazy, and it's like, it's like I'm uneducated as far as photography. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much to yeah. learn. There's so like, there's so many terms. There's so many like different types of cameras, films. There's like levels to it, bro. And then yeah, and then now digital, and then like the way you adapt, you've adapted through all of it. You know what I'm saying? And you just you're constant, consistent. You know, that's the best thing is consistency. I guess oh. Yeah, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, man. I'm just just trying to keep up, show like a cool story, my point of view. You know what I mean? Like that's all. That's all I'm trying to do. That's the best part about just trying to have fun. Like, hey, scoot up a little bit, man. You're too far away from the mic, bro. Oh, you know, be scared of me. He's chill. He's chill. He's chill. You should have seen me before, bro. <laughs> so what's up? How long you been making clothes? How long have I been making clothes? Probably like fucking no, two bro. years, three years, maybe. Okay. Nah, three. probably longer, bro. Well, you know what? Yeah, honestly, when I was like 18, I made some tie dye shirts with, uh, y'all know the the yellow sign, the wet, the uh, the wet floor sign. Fashion. I Get took some I took that little character, put it on there with the, with the thing, and I put tripping. I was ready. I was ready to talk about that shit. Eighteen, I hadn't even done. I hadn't even done shrooms yet and shit. Chilled. Yeah, and I sold like I sold a like like eight, bro. Like that was gas. That's like, cool. Yeah, and then I just kept going with it. I was one of those fucking buyers. Just so <laughs> like, you know. Dude, yeah. Hey, bro, yeah. So you've been down, you been down fan, since, bro. Bro, yeah. since, since the start, bro. Day one, I don't give a fuck, bro. It's shit, always it's day. Badass, it's bro. always day one. Of when you meet somebody. So, like, we, I met this fool in elementary. Oh, shit. But we yeah. weren't, like, close like that. But yeah, I was a year As ahead. long as you're A1, day one, I'll just see this fool in elementary. I'll be like, what up? <laughs> I see this fool in middle school. I'll be like, oh, shit. What, what up, like, bro? I know his homies when we were playing basketball. Yeah. And, and then <laughs> high school, I'll be like, oh, shit, what up, bro? You like, you came to Jeff. Like, what's up? Yeah. And we didn't become cool until right after, like, after we both graduated. Yeah. And we're just like, we've always been chill, fool. Like, we're both from the same hood, fool. Like, why don't yeah. we chill? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, bro, we're, literally we're, down we're the all, street like, shit. We, we did shit in high school a couple times. Like, like and we just nonstop chilling, like, right-hand man. I still need that shoot by those stairs in that ditch. I know, you told by me. By your block. Like, bro, I'm like. <laughs> I know how random that sounds. That's nah, weird, nah, my nah, man. Nah, that shit's lying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's weird. That's weird. He beating me up like that out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> hey, let's do a shoot then. Nah, yeah, had a shoot earlier when he called me. He's like, hey, you ready today? I'm like, I was like, oh shit. Nigga. I that's heard good, I man. heard from yours since earlier. I'm like, yeah, where did it go, bro? Like, my, I, yeah, my bad. I, I, I was, I've been real like kind of MIA, you know. Uh, I had to lay someone down to rest earlier this week. Rest in peace now. And um, hear that, man. you know, I'm I'm finally kind of getting out of my funk because because put me in a in a weird space for the past couple of days. It made me think about a lot of things. Should I buy you one of the beer? That always helps. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, let's go. I'll smash one. Yes. <laughs> yes. But yeah, no. Um, I feel I feel a little bit better. I feel a little more content about everything. Um, hey, that's cool, I really miss bro. my friend though. That's what that's. Hey, I feel that, bro. Been there, bro. Back to back, bro. So, right, it's it's been a wild, wild yes, couple of years, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sorry, bro. Straight up. There we go. Yes, but yeah, man, I'm I'm trying. I'm. I had to like I had to like sit with my producer and I had to have him kind of like pump me up. Shout out Smittyville. He always shout gets out me out of my phone. Yeah, yeah, shout out. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm like super excited like to be on the show right now. Same. It, bro. It, when you hit me up, I was like. I know I I'm hit like, you up all random. I was like, oh, duh. Like, I was like, I looked at my girl's schedule real quick. I'm like, all right, we're good, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like boom, she can watch the kids. I get it. And it still don't even work like that, bro. Like, I'm all, I was like last minute with everything. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, like, I was like trying to prepare. I was trying to prepare and like come in like crazy with it. But next time I, like, I don't know. I just try to be a character. <laughs> no, you good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the letter. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Hey, so what? You had that? What's that one thing you had? Oh, uh, hey. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Did you make those pants? Yeah, 
I made some pants yes, too. Yes, but hey, stand on the chair type shit. No, 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 no. Uh, Let me get nah, a, just can, can you stand up real quick? Can I get a video of your pants? I yeah. just did like. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here. Yeah, I got you right now. Look at that. I got you right there. All right, all right, all right. All right. I was trying to pop. Let me get out. these pants real quick. I was trying to pop out with like some fresh shit per usual. Y'all probably can't see it on camera, but I threw the little smiley face logo on the jeans. Simple shit that anybody can do. That I want everybody to create. Well, what, what's up? What's that shirt right there? Oh shit! Yeah, I, well, that's that's a, I was wearing. I was that's wearing that other yeah, one. That's, that's what's on my pants. Yeah, yeah, it's the same logo. It's the old one. So y'all know that's the logo. So you started with a logo, and then it's really about building the lifestyle. So you have to like sell the lifestyle versus like. Hey, y'all fuck with me, buy my shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like and and like the funds the funds aren't like perfect right now. So you know what I'm saying? Like I have to get I have to do what I have to do with just like my iPad, you know what I'm saying? And my phone <laughs> and whatever free time I get, you know what I'm saying? Because I be taking care of my kids all the time. That's what's up, bro. And Man. I like I like your I like your studio, bro. I remember I went by that one time. Yeah, bro. It like that's like my brain, bro. Like you pull up in there and it's like that's my headspace, like it's a little cluttered, but I know where everything's at. But it's going down in there every night, bro. I'll be in there going hard at the paintings. I might have to stare yeah. at it for 20 minutes, but I'll be there going hard, bro. Nah, yeah, yeah, bro. I'm going to say this, bro. This motherfucker, bro, when he does his shit, bro, he's on it. He's down. I'm always there, bro, to support it. I'm like, look, bro, half of the... I'm going to say, like, 85% of the time, I'm like, I'm just going to be... Behind you for this, bro. I'm going to fucking record you. Do your thing. The other percent, I'm like, fuck, dog. I'm not down, but you're down. Let's do it. Because I'm not the type, bro, to announce everything. This guy, bro, one of the shoots we did, my favorite fucking shoot to this fucking day, is we went downtown. We walk. We were just promoting these shirts, I think, when we just dropped Oh, when shirt. you guys were, like, on the river walk. Yes. I remember yes, that. Yeah, yeah, okay. That went, like, bro. Viral. It was so tight because there was a there was a part where he told me take pictures, don't record this, take pictures. I was like, all right, bet. So he set up in a certain it's under the bridge, weird little waterfall. Oh, there's yeah, like, yeah, a, yeah. like a like a like a like a weird cool stair type shit where in the back you can stand on it, but you can still rest on it. Weird shit. He put everything that I had. We had a bag. We had all our merch there to be like, all right, bro, if we sell it, we're selling this. He said, nah, give me all this shit. I'm going to set it up. All right, bet. He set up. We had like, I think like four to five shirts, bro, on hangers that we were just walking, taking those bitches with us everywhere, switching them every while. So on the video, if y'all pay attention on the one of the videos, the shirt fucking changes color because we were just switching them, bro. Doom, doom, doom. The thing is, I want every, I, I know people don't appreciate it, but if you like really watch the reels, which y'all do, like reels is the way to grow whatever, yeah. on Instagram, but I put like a ton of edit. And like that's how it goes. Details, you know what I'm saying? That's details. how it goes. But like, right, I yeah. choreographed the fucking music to shit that happening in the video. Sometimes that you might not notice. You know what I mean? Like, like it's smooth. He's like one for the road, two for the show. Like, and then he's like, it says he's going out his mind, and it's like I just use a fucking cap cut edit, put it all together, and then it just fucking it made it go point one second. Doo, 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 doo. So like it looked trippy. Then I brought out like when it says. But then I ended up selling two shirts. I ended up selling two shirts right off the bag. I'm like, bro, if we do shirt, if we yeah, sell two about. shirts downtown for ten bucks, yeah. like this shit's gonna be good. Like a little ten dollars, slap your logo on it. I'm not even making money on it. <coughs> I'm getting my name out there, type shit. But it, you're making it back. You know what I mean? You're just breaking even, <coughs> and it, it it's helped me grow. Like we're growing. a store in my life, breaking even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as and I'm I'm okay with that. You as long know what I mean? Got everything taken care of. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm not like like drowning. You know. Exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to run my credit up right now. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell this chick in Kansas City? I was like, can you ruin my credit? <laughs> my homeboy was like, you're stupid. Shout out, FK. Yeah. I mean, you, you got to do it when you're putting on for yourself. Like, when the, he's, about, he's like, oh, shit, hold on. I'm on a job right now. You're saying, like, nah, you, nah boy, like, you got to get, you always got to, like, be thinking about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like nah, you gotta, but you have to obsess about it. You have to have the, you have to know that feeling of success already. Like, 
before you even oh, have it, bro. bro. But uh, she loo all the time, man. I'll and, shoot him all the time. And I was like, you, I'm, you, I, you pulled up at the first show that one time to check it out. But and that's why I said, bro, this motherfucker was just standing on the thing, set up everything, just stood there, started yelling, bro. Random motherfuckers walking, started yelling, hey, support my brand, local artist San Antonio, First high place. fiends. <laughs> I have no stick. Yeah, bro. So we were just there. He's like, all right, cool. I didn't record that. He's I like, let's go. I made go. like five people follow me. Yes, like, bro. Can, can you follow me? Bro, <laughs> bro, random like, people. You, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Random people that were just sitting down. He was like, hey, Chris, killer, record this shit real quick. But I was recording him, just him talking like, to them, bro. I hate, like, hey, I hate it to seem this. like that, though. I hate it to seem like that, though, because people would be like. They hate I, it. They, no, because people, like, no, people would be like, let me set up my camera. <laughs> Let me run through it, and then, and then I like. No, dude, I respect, I respect all of it. Can I tell you what I just did this past week? Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it, bro. He's about to be, uh, he's about to be, uh, so I, I made a YouTube channel just recently. I follow. Oh, that's called? right. Yeah, yeah that's that's so, what's it called? So I can subscribe to that shit. It's no, called no, uh, no. Gorilla Slug Productions. Follow it on YouTube, So it's the base, like your Instagram, just like my Instagram. Shout out to my Instagram and my YouTube right now. Yeah. No, but yeah, straight sure. up, bro, I I messaged everybody on uh, everyone that's following me and everyone that I'm following, just straight up, just hitting everyone up. That's how you got to do it. Yes, sir. Like, I, <laughs> I did all that on my Instagram, and at school, specifically on campus, I was like, hey, can I take your portrait just straight up? Yeah. Just a picture yeah. real quick. Hell yeah. And in return, can you follow me on uh, YouTube? I pushed it all the way to like 150 plus subscribers already. Nice. It's Gross. been a That's fucking week. dope, bro. Nice. Hell yeah. That's nice. a real uh, fucking I just, I just bro. remember you asked and I just did it. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, straight up, bro. Like, you just got to ask. You got to push it, you know? Like, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. I talked to a, a different cat and he told me that he made 5,000 just on views and hip subscribers. And after I heard that, I was like, I, like, I can't just... Bro, I cannot like yeah. do. You, I mean, you 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 have already like you it have happens, you have bro. ringside yeah. like yeah. exactly you have you ringside know, so. inside, bro, and then uh, like and and his pictures are fucking yeah, sick. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, bro. I was like, just looking really, at like, that shit. Especially yeah. where, like like I met, I met I met him. Uh, I met him, I didn't I met him pretty recently. Maybe what like like six May? months ago. Yeah, more or less. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I met I met him like uh I was I was doing a an event at Digital Pro Lab. I was speaking. And uh, he was he was just there. He was doing he was a whole no no no. You weren't just speaking. He was doing a whole entire art show. It was a beautiful <laughs> art show, <laughs> and he was doing a talk. One, uh, uh, it was a point and shoot by Loser. <laughs> Shout out to Loser because I've been following Loser for a few years before. Before you met him. Before I met him, yeah. I, I've been yeah, following yeah, him yeah. a few yeah. years before I met him. And whenever <laughs> I found out that he was doing a point and shoot, I was like, I have to meet this guy. Like, no way. I not even not even to meet him. I was just, I I need to be around his art. You know, he like, he was the first one there, so I just started talking to him. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was a fan. Like, I oh, straight up, I was just gas, a fan. bro. I, and ever ever since I met him, I've been like inviting him to do stuff. You know, we came. I wanted him to show at Lone Star Market. He showed at Lone Star Market. Yeah, um, do it at the next one, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if you want. Yeah. If you want to show anything. Up, it's October 20th. Uh, I, I have a... Market. Damn, we haven't even fucking asked any artists. What the fuck? Bro, I'm, su- <laughs> I'm, su- I'm, su- I'm surprised they're not asking you. What do you mean? Like, I, as big as how... For me, bro, you're one of the fucking... I, I got asked by Digital Pro Lab. They asked me to that's, do a lot of things. They they are amazing yeah. there. I and, love I love what they do there. And that type of shit is expected, bro. After how fucking much you work, bro. So <laughs> Thanks, I man. I appreciate you, that. Up on this one with a bottle, bro. Like, oh, he did. You did, bro. I was like, <laughs> that's right. You gotta give him his flowers, bro. I can't bro, give no, all, I can't I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go a bottle. You know what I'm My homie was just uh, all. Someone I, just came in and gave you liquor and left. I was like, I was yeah. Like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I gave somebody a shirt, like. I had a I had a friend who surprised me, uh, my homeboy Eric. I hadn't seen him in like maybe two years. He came from Seattle and just kind of, he asked uh, Amanda, the owner, and just like, "Hey, where's Loser?" She's like, "Right there." <laughs> that's, that's the guy. That's the guy. That's the guy. That's, the guy. that's him. It's like Juan, you don't dude. do that though. <laughs> Might get beat up. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that that motherfucker? <laughs> Uh, no, nah, that was a, that was a good show. That was a fun show. You gotta ask why first, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just be pointing out names. But yeah, that that was a that was that was awesome. You just showed up with a bottle of a patron. But 
Nah. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's tight. In a little brown bag. Yeah, in a little brown, brown bag. bag. <laughs> this is for you, buddy. I remember I was posing with That's the brown the, bag. They were all, what's in the bag? Just a brown bag. <laughs> what's in the bag? <laughs> what's in the bag? <laughs> hey, be like that, bro, because I want a fucking bottle off the random fucking... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Random, hey, right? Hey, <laughs> dog, that shit's on live, bro. Nine <laughs> times. I was, yo, <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all, though. My bad. This fool, no, bro. This fool hit me up four different times. <laughs> I was all like, random, bro. Random, random, random. I'm like, I'm like, bro, he commented on the post. He entered the raffle. Like, he just happened to be. Hey, Lou, you know what's funny? Was, I took a picture of the fucking bottle, too, with it. Like, this. I'm like, hey, should I send it to Lou? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. I remember he was on. No, bro, it really was. Right. I'm like, bro, I'm really, I'm just playing with you, man. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I was all I'd be, like, I'd be fucking around too much. My bad. Half of it. All right, you can drink half of it. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. Nah, but yeah, bro. You wanna know what's funny? What? That's like the second or third time I fucking won, bro. Really? Off of yeah, bro. I just oh. be joining that shit for that no you reason. Won. You won. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> hey, I want to know what's funnier. For real, I be, I just be telling God, hey, you got me, right? Like, I'm going to win, right? I post Dude. up on live. Uh, oh, shit, I won. That's all you nah, come on, bro. How y'all not believe in God like that, bro? Like, sometimes. Sometimes I be tripping, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know we all have all those days where we be tripping like, hey, God, you you with me today or are you like... Well, well, one thing, I don't like to bother God about my problems. I really, like, if I talk to him, it's like, what's up? But I, I don't like, I don't like yeah. bugging him too much, you know what I mean? If I do, it's not to bug him. It's more of like, give me a sign on what's the answer. Does that make sense? Like, let me know which way to go. Let me know, like, no, you, you fucking idiot, or yes... Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make sense, bro? I don't know, bro, but there's times where I do be talking to him, talking about, because I'm all like, dog, it's been a day. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If it's we're going to get into that spiritual conversation, day, I was having uh, some straight up doubts on Gorilla Slug production. Straight up, I was like, man, like, nah. I was like, just the other day, I was scrolling through my page, and I was like, ah, like, man, I'm, I just hit up all these people. Up um like for YouTube like what if it's a flop and I was just thinking about my page like maybe I shouldn't even just bro just straight up this like is, this is how you dude no hold on it gets better so as I'm thinking these things uh there's a boxer his name's uh, Fernando Vargas <laughs> El General <laughs> straight up he puts on his uh his his post uh pictures of him I swipe and then there's a a thing like a a verse, eight eleven Romans, and it says uh, the same strength that uh, was risen for, like the same strength that Christ used to raise himself from the dead is within you. That's what it said, and when I read that, it hit me pretty hard, specifically because the numbers eight eleven have been following me for. Like since twenty eighteen, isn't that cra- isn't that crazy how numbers follow you? Yeah. yeah, I got I got the number twenty eight that follows me, Never and seen. one two five two. That's another one another pattern I always see. Yeah, so whenever I saw eight eleven that Bible verse and the the thoughts I was thinking with Gorilla Slug, I was like, okay, like that that cancels it right there. You know, like that was a a a, a verse from the Bible, the strength from. Jesus, you know, is within us. Like, come on, my number is eight eleven. Everything. Yeah, I was like, okay, like, I gotta keep going, straight up. That's like, tight, bro. Yeah, it was a trip. Good shit. Yeah, it's been wild. What you, what you got planned for the future? Uh, this. You shooting anything soon? Yes, actually. Uh, so Monday I'm gonna be at Robert Garcia's Boxing Academy, Boxes and Brawlers. Shout out to them, Marco. He's been. He's been a beautiful man. Thank you so much for everything you're doing. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> he helped me get out uh, there. So I'm giving him a video on Monday. But he's also called me. It was actually a, a beautiful thing tonight. 
uh, two different boxers had called me for a fight that they're having next Saturday in Houston in the same spot. So it'll be like a double whammy for both of them, you know? Oh, sick. Okay. Yes. So, uh, in, Damn, what fight is it in Houston? It's at the Constellation Field. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Let me look it up. <laughs> Let me look it up. No, but keep keep going about uh about, about it. Uh, well, Guillermo Gutierrez, Gimo, he's gonna be the main event, and he's gonna be fighting for an ABF title. He was gonna be fighting a undefeated uh, <laughs> boxer that was like thirteen <coughs> you know, with thir- like thirteen knockouts. He was gonna fight him, but apparently he hurt his pinky. He d- he hurt, he didn't want the smoke, bro. Straight up, he didn't want <laughs> he didn't want the smoke from Guillermo. Scared, like straight up, bro. bro. Scared, like yeah. I'm even calling that a dude out, bro. Like he didn't want the smoke. He heard his pinky. Get out of here. Like come on. <coughs> he didn't want the smoke, but you know what? He was gonna fight for a Texas title and for a different title, which was like a like a B year class, you know, in the boxing world. But now since that opponent's gone out of the way, he's getting this new opponent. And it's for an ABF title, and it's just like a, it's just a level up, you know. So it's it's pretty exciting for the South Side of San Antonio, especially because that's where he's from. What's the uh, what's like the weight class? I don't. I want to say one eighteen. I ca- I can't remember. It's like featherweight. Like featherweight, yeah. Or something. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know the proper terms either, but boxing, he's yeah. he's yeah he's fighting out of uh, Castillo's boxing gym, and then Jason Limon El Gallo. He's fighting with the RGBA, and uh, I want to say he's a welterweight, and I he's fighting for a Texas title. And you like you're you're about to do all that like ringside, right? Like oh yeah, bro, yeah, that's yeah, badass. Yeah. It's yeah, like bro. bro, you can hit the you you know like you're flicking everything, but like I'm a knockout shot, like boom, damn in their corner, like going through the going through the mental part of it you know like it's a lot you're going through the mental part of it it's a lot it's a lot uh those fighters specifically like they'll they're going through a roller coaster while everyone's just like talking business like or just like betting probably (laughs) bro oh my god (laughs) so it's going off topic from like this fight specifically but like you'll watch fight boxing fights on tv and you'll be like you know, like, oh, you know, like, bets here and there, whatever. But, like, more or less, they're not fixed, you know. Here in, like, these local levels, like, that's where it's at. You're like, whoa, like, okay, like, I don't even want to say more than that, bro. <laughs> like, you, you <laughs> just, like, know the history of, of boxing. Just think about the history of boxing, and it's still relevant. You know what I'm saying? Boxing goes hard, bro. You can watch it, like, oh, yeah. you get, like every HBO like boxers that have died and gone, like all the greats. Like how I'm trying to make a movie about uh, the boxer that uh, was murdered by the Bandidos. The oh. he was our first champion, uh, Robert. I forget his last name, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't. My bro. bro, but yeah, bro, like uh, that's on touch. I'm I'm mainly into movies. Like I got into boxing because that's just an, another passion of mine. But like. The end goal it's to, it's just cool scene where you end up with that. For yeah. us. Like, you know, I know I know you personally. So when I see you doing that, I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, I love it when I see people, like, getting into places where they didn't think they'd be able to get into. Bro, you have no idea. God, yeah, blessing. Like, boxing has blessed my life uh, so much. And then whenever I picked up the camera, it just, like, took me up to, like, a different world, bro. Because I was an amateur fighter before I got into... Oh, shit. Vi- uh, videography. Tight, yeah, tight. I had fought in uh, the Golden <laughs> Gloves when I was 17, turning 18, back in, I want to say 2014, more or less. I won my first fight, and then I lost my second fight, uh, like, within, like, the next day. So it was, I won the first one, first day, second day I lost. But it was, it was a great experience, bro. It was... It's fun, but I, I just took that with me, you know. I had stopped fighting for a, a minute, and then I got into, like, a funk where I was just just not happy, you know, just straight up. Like, I I just just been through too much. You yeah, know? it happens, man. Yeah. It happens. And then I was like, you know, like, I need to go back to the gym, like, straight up. Like, I love boxing. Let me go back, you know. And I, I yeah. went back, and I was like, oh, man, it's so good. You know, like, Thank this is where I belong. 
Yeah. You just go, you go into your zone. Yeah, exactly. That's like, what it is. Like I said, I like seeing where it takes you. Yeah. Because yeah. you're good at what you do. Thank you, bro. So Thank it's good to see. <laughs> yeah, bro. Coming from those you, bro, pictures, those pictures are good. Thank you, man. I really love it. Thank what you. What you got planned for the future? Let me, let me talk to the camera. <laughs> 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 this fucking guy, he cracks me the fuck up. Like, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, shit. Dun, dun, dun. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Close <laughs> up. Yeah, close. Right. You want to do extreme close up? Nah, yeah. Let me move myself out of the way real quick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like, that's how it's going to look in the video. Like, I don't know shit. just floating around. <laughs> Plan for the future, man. Don't be afraid to get close to the mic. Ah, let's do. I know. You got me for it. <laughs> Damn. Like six times. All right, I walked up in this interview thinking like, I just want to get with y'all with a quick story, real quick, of how I got here. So I was stressing like, where's my girl at? Like, boom, she pulled up, and I'm like, I'm like, can you do my hair? <laughs> like, I was like, I'm trying to look good for the video. Good. And then I'm like, bro, I was like, I need to make these pants. And then I just pulled up and I'm homie pulled up. I'm like, let's take a dab, bro. Dab had me all nervous, bro. I told this who it was ironic. I was like, bro, I had to go to the restroom, bro. <laughs> I was like, I didn't have to I didn't have to throw up. I we was all nervous, get the bro. nerves. Like, no so, way. We all get bro. the nerves. So then and then this dude mentioned it, he's like I was like, I'm on my Eminem shit. Like, I'm all nervous. Like, uh, like, and he's like, he's like, did you eat spaghetti yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> what does spaghetti have to do with it, bro? Bro. Oh, I'm spaghetti. And I literally fucking ate spaghetti yesterday. He pulled up on me because I was like, we're going to, like, we're going to, we're going to talk about what we we're talking about in the interview or in game plan and shit. And this dude's like, you're a fucking you're a fool. Nah, this dude's like, yes, sir. He's like, he's like, Nah, um, I Chelsea cooked for me earlier. She made spaghetti too. Yes, I'm like, bro. This, this will put up to my crib fresh off of spaghetti food, uh, bro. I'm making it in front of him. Like, hold up. That bro. hey, that's how you know we're fucking bros, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling my girl, I was all like, me and this fool were on the same wavelength of what the fuck we going to eat for dinner. <laughs> you feel me, bro? I didn't said spaghetti. This food and I didn't pull up. Hey, what are you making? Spaghetti. Anyway. I'm like, yo, I ate Anyways, that food. Stop it. The dad <laughs> fucked me up. I pulled up over here at Loser at couch. I'm sitting on the fucking couch like, stuck. I know. I, I felt like I had to prod you for a good These 30 dudes, minutes to like bring you to life. These dudes are like talking and talking. I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, I was at just all. chilling. And, and, you know, so now I'm just excited to be here on the podcast Damn. talking about what we got in store for the future. So yep. the brand, I already have a Halloween drop planned, obviously, because everybody wants to make a Halloween. Oh, yeah. And yes, sir. it has to do with the shirt it's that good. I got under here. I'll take it. I'll show you in a bit. Shit. But it feels good, bro. It's, a, pu- it's a punk fiend. And oh, it's going to be your Halloween colors. Orange, black, and purple. Don't start market is where, where we are. We're going to be on the October, so I got 20 days to game plan for some shit. And y'all know me. Y'all <laughs> know me. Y'all know more me, merch. If I'm more pull- merch. Well, obviously, more merch. But if I'm pulling up to Lone Star, I'm always pulling up with some different shit. Like, both times my sections have been full to the top. Like, whatever space they give me, I use. Bro, I like it. how you utilize that space. And Make like a box. Yeah, bring, everything. Bring them inside the box. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, was, I was thinking about having corners is the best. Well, look, this is some crazy shit. There's She Rock. You buy it, it's nine bucks per. You buy four of them, it's 30 bucks. I cut a little hole in it, made a square, put myself in the square. <laughs> I'm doing art for three hours locked in there. Do it. People have to pay Do me. It. People have to no pay water. Me. No, people, no, no, no. People have to pay me in food, uh. beer, and money. <laughs> And I'll bust and out art pieces or some shit. Stick. <laughs> like that's just a hype, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, hypothetical. Uh, like, I really like that spot on Presa you did. You did that show in it. Like you should do more stuff there, bro. Where the South Town, the little one, or the big one we just did? Our 
I didn't go to the one, I didn't go to the one in Landmine. The one by the gas station. Uh, the one off West Avenue. I didn't go to that one. I wasn't able to make that one. Okay, so the one on Presa. The 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 first the gr- the garage the the glass the, the glass doors. Yeah, oh shout yes, out, yes. Shout out that, yes, that sir. Uh, that was beautiful. Uh, San, Anto- right? San Antonio yes. luxury glass. If you need your um, bathroom doors, any type of glass installation, fucking, for the low. you should, you should try to show more there, bro. That spot's uh, really yeah. dope. He, he told me. He told hey, me. Yeah. Town's lit, bro. He told me. Yeah, it's right there. He has a good deal on it. We can do more shows. I'll just hit. I'll just hit him up. Literally. Uh, like I have ideas. Like we can do. Like I love sports, so we can do like a football weekend one. Think about this: free wings. Okay, bitch. I'm that's how, no, that's how you bring people in. Like that's t- that's how I bring people in. Like I just, <coughs> hey, we got free beer or hey, we got free wings, free man. something. And then I always try and pull out like I don't like to, like I don't like to pop out all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like the shows, like how y'all do Lone Star. You know you do them pop out. The the summer's coming up, out the way. But winter's cool. Coming. Weather is gonna be better at night. Like and. You know, like you just got a game. You just got a game plan and work around it. And then, yes, sir. And as soon as you get ahead of some shit, like I always hate like that anybody else is doing something when I'm doing something, regardless of it. Like it's the big ass city, and obviously somebody's always gonna be doing something. <laughs> so yeah. like, but to me, I like I like to put something out first that I can see ahead of time, and I'm like. You gotta build it up. You gotta promote it. Like, and that's what I gotta do a better, better. Uh, Better job of doing doing better promotion. Like, I don't know. It gets tough. Like, it gets tough. You get burned out. I get burned out of like trying yeah. to promote myself. I mean, like, I don't know. I've been thinking about trying to like hire someone to do some shit like that. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I had the website. Like, I'd rather yeah, learn manager it. I'd rather shit learn out it. here, bro. I'd rather learn it yourself and figure it out. And then eventually, when well, some, get, sometimes you need like a like an outside boost, you know what I mean? Yeah, when you get the right, when you get the right. Yeah, when 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 shit aligns little, in the right yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly yeah. How it goes. The universe be lining up. Oh shit, man! Um, you just know. Yeah, right. It's about that time. Uh, they want to get a hold of you. How do they get a hold of you? Hi fiends, Instagram at at sign H I I F I E N D S S. Y'all could slow it down or rewind it. Look for the smiley face. <laughs> Sorry. Chris, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, shit, y'all can get a hold of me at uh, Killer Chris underscore Chris. Oh, I mean, 07 on Instagram. Uh, shit, rather than that, bro, appreciate you for having us, man. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, I want to say... Uh, First of all, uh, shout out Burst, bro. Oh, yeah, shout man. That's Burst, my boy bro. right there. If I would have, without Burst, bro, I would have known. We were, we were in a Blanco Cafe yesterday. Who, that's my, that's my who, boy right who there. Who is, bro? You good? You good? Oh, yeah. Hey, like, who yeah. Lou is, bro? Yeah. Hey, R.I.P. Jerk, bro. And hey, shit, that's real bro. Shit right that's there. it, bro. Like, rather than that, bro, just follow the brand. Hi, Fiends. You already know. Let's shit. go. Xavier, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Hit me up on uh, Gorilla Slug Productions, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, G O R I L L A S L U G P R O D U C T I O N S. I had to look that up. I had to look it up, bro. I just, I just like people being able to, you know what I mean. Make sure they're following the right people. Thank well, you. shit. Like, subscribe. Tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what I'm bad at. Rest in peace, Narrow. Shout out, Kush. Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I would do unless it's free.